parents of adult children and families, the importance and value of the family. Grandma's porch. Sit down, relax, enjoy. Here on Grandma's porch. Parents of adult children, families, your family. Hello, y'all. I'm Diana Brianne. Well, I got to thinking about families today, and I got to thinking about adult children and parents. And uh, from all different perspectives and all different um, logic. And as you all know, I don't give advice, I don't give suggestions, I just share with you how I see life. And I have been sharing with you my success strategies, many of which came from grandma herself. And so we are having this beautiful, beautiful day out here today, and I am so, so enjoying it. I went out and I did my five mile run, and now I'm in for the day, and I'm going to work on quite a few little projects. And so I get to thinking about families, the importance of our families. Often when people um, become adults, you know, children become adults, they suddenly think, oh, well, I don't need my family anymore, especially when they go and get married. They consider their new family, their spouse, and maybe their children as their family and their original family as just, you know, a now and then thing. Well, I think every family is different and every situation is different and I understand that. And yet the value of a family, the value of a mother and a father, a grandmother, a grandfather from both sides of the fence, the value of our adult children, the value of grandchildren, the value of a daughter-in-law or a son-in-law or in-laws that are indirectly related, they're all a part of our family. And when we begin to exclude them, um, unless we have really good reason, we're losing out. We're losing out in life. And no family is going to be perfect. And I believe that, um, that it's important that families come together to the best of their ability. Now, of course, we have all different kinds of personalities and some personalities don't get along as well as others. And I got that. Sometimes we got to keep a little bit more distance with some family members than we do with other family members. But we do lose out when we don't have a relationship with the whole family or at least most of the family. And so I think if at all possible to keep family ties and remember our parents are still our parents just because we're grown up and often going to them for their wisdom can be a wonderful, wonderful thing. You know, I often say um, it's a parent's role and it's a parent's responsibility to their children in the first part of their life. And yet it's the adult children's responsibility for their own life once they become adults. And yet I believe that families work together. They support each other. They help each other. They nurture each other. They encourage each other. They applaud each other. They even cry with each other if needed. Families are a valuable, valuable resource that so many people do not tap into. So many people just think, oh, it's my family, you know, I'm embarrassed by my family, or I don't have that great of a family. But even if you don't have what you consider that great of a family, if at all possible to have a relationship with that family um, of, of, of some kind of meaning um, 
that can be a very, very good thing. Families are not going to be perfect. Relatives are not going to be perfect. Parents are not going to be perfect. Children are not going to be perfect. And I understand that. And sometimes we have to shift our relationship. And maybe my relationship with one family member may not look the same as your relationship with that family member. You know, everybody is different and every family is composed and made up differently. And yet families are valuable. Families are usually the ones that will be there for people when needed. Not always, but most often. And families are usually the ones that care the most. You know, we care the most about another and their well-being. And so I believe that, that it's important to value your family and understand your family and if at all possible work with your family so that you can have a great relationship and a meaningful relationship or at least some kind of relationship if at all possible. I also believe that we have to take responsibility for our own lives once we become adults. But that doesn't mean that we quit listening to our parents or that we quit listening to our grandparents because often they have lived things or seen things or have knowledge of things that we don't yet and we can learn from them. And so this is the thing, in most situations, we're not as strong without our family as we are with our family. And so I believe in doing our best to keep great relationships going with our families. And remember, parents don't stop being parents just because the kids grew up. And I think a lot of kids think, adult children think, well, I don't need my parents now. I'm all grown up. But I can tell you, a parent is a valuable, valuable resource and somebody who probably loves you more than anybody else. And I believe that also, parents, we have to understand that our children are adults now and they're going to make choices that we agree or don't agree with. But I believe in loving them unconditionally. I believe that our love should not hinge upon their choices that they make. Now, whether what kind of relationship we have may, may hinge upon um, what kind of choices they make. You know, we may have to distance ourselves a little bit or, you know, whatever, because we may not always approve of their, their choices. And yet, we have to remember, love is unconditional. Our love stays the same regardless of their choices or decisions. Whether we approve of their choices or decisions or not, our love stays the same. Families are a very, very valuable resource. From my house to yours, I hope you like, share, subscribe to all four of my channels. The links are posted below, um, pinned to the top of the comment section. And all you have to do is click on each link and click subscribe. And watch a video, of course. Thank you so much. I wish you a great day. And I hope to talk to y'all soon again. So from Grandma's Porch to wherever you're at, talk to you then. Bye-bye. to relax and a place to enjoy.